Hey Edson, it's Miguel. I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I do in Photoshop to do my, my illustrations. First I create a new file, 300 dpi, CMYK, 11 by 15. Okay. First thing I do is bring a guide from the left ruler to seven and a half inches so I know where the middle is so I don't put anything important in the gutter. Now I'm gonna make two layers. One layer I call in progress. I always only work in the in progress layer. Okay. Now the layer underneath I'm gonna call rough. Okay. My rough drawing is there. I usually like to label my rough layers red so that it's really easy to see them. Okay. Now going with the red theme I also like to add a color overlay. The default is already red. So anything that I draw on here let me show you. Anything that I draw on here is going to be turned into red even though it looks red even though I painted it black ink um, because the effect turns it all red. So the only other thing I'm going to do now is, okay, so I, I paint on my in progress layer. When I'm dropping things out I have shape size to pressure and opacity set to pressure so that I can draw thin and light and thick and dark okay so I will rough my scene let's say I have a few perspective lines I have a door on a building maybe maybe there's a double door on this one Let's say it's a retail space, so there's windows, okay? Maybe there's a big sign for the stores, okay? Maybe there's an awning. Okay? Notice how I've just messed up in here. That's why I do my rough layer. So now I have a, a big fat eraser. Okay, that I use at 50%. Okay, 50% opacity, so I can I can lighten it up, but still see what I've been doing. Okay, and then I change back to the brush, and there I can redraw that awning. Fine. Okay, um, maybe that's where it's gonna end. Let's say this is the sidewalk, and then maybe I'm going to have a character in here. Okay? Now, I'm fine with this for now. I'm going to kind of set it in stone by merging this layer to my rough layer. My in progress layer gets merged, and then create a new in progress layer. I have all of that in an action because I do that very often. So here, I perform the action. That's all done. You can see that it all got red because it, my drawing is now on the rough layer with the effect, okay? Not on my in-progress layer anymore. So I can now, on my, in my in-progress layer, keep polishing this up, okay? Um, I can go to my rough and say erase things like, I, I didn't like that mistake down there. Um, or maybe I want to lighten this character so that when I draw my character over here, um, I don't have that in the way. Okay? So let's say I'm going to draw my more detailed character there. I'm going to draw my more detailed um, awning here. You can see I can start putting some details there. Okay? Things like that. Now let me you know I'm a character guy, so let me let me work on this character a little bit. Um, let's give him uh, I don't know. Maybe he has a cowboy hat. Okay. Give him a little. Maybe a beard. I don't like the beard. Let's erase a little bit here. So I'm, I'm I got my 50% eraser. I erase. Do his head, do his head, big smile. Let's give him a holster. Maybe 
these legs are wide apart. Okay. So in this process, I can then I'm happy with that. I can merge it down. Okay. Let me zoom out. You can see that it's being added to the layer underneath. Okay. I can still work in here and keep tightening things up on on subsequent layers. But once I found something that I like. I can merge it down. It's kind of safe for now on that rough layer, okay? While I paint, while I draw, whatever it is I'm doing, okay? So let's say that's closer to what I want. Now, my rough layer is getting a little bit too dark, so I can erase at least that part where I just drew something new and more detailed. Okay. I can merge him down and I can see him there. Now, let's say all of my drawing now is done to the same detail that this little section here is. Okay. So I'm ready to ink. Okay. I will create a new layer. Okay. Call it ink. And there may be an ink layer for the character, there may be an ink layer for the background, there may be an ink layer for however many elements you need to do an ink layer for. Now, um, I use an opaque brush for that without the opacity control under pressure. It still has size control on pressure, but not opacity. Um, so now again, working on the in-progress layer, I will do essentially what, what would be my inking in a comic. Okay? So here I'm a little bit more careful than I was in the rough drawing. I can add more detail here. But this is this is the key. This is the, the drawing that will actually be finished and will actually show up on my on my final. Okay, and of course I would draw the rest of the character there, whatever that is. Now it's still on my in progress layer. Okay, I will merge that down to my ink layer. Now my ink layer has the the line character. Okay, um, but notice that I'm gonna move him a little bit so you can see. Notice that you can see through him. Okay, you can see through the character, so I I would be able to see the background. Even if I turn the, the rough drawing of him off, if I had a, a background layer that's inked already, I would see through him. So what I do is I select with a magnetic lasso so I can do a fast, quick selection of the character. Okay. Select that. Uh, add the transparency from the ink so this ink is also selected. Um, that also helps me see any little areas like here, here, and there that aren't selected. Okay, so I add those to my selection. Oops, I subtracted. I want to add those. I left a spot here. I noticed there's a little bit that didn't get or got selected here, so I can tighten it up. I tighten my selection up. Um. Then using a white with the same same opaque brush, I'm now going to paint um, white on this character. Now the key to this step is keeping it to darken. So because white is not darker than black, because white is not darker than black, you can see that I'm not messing up the black line, but I am covering the background underneath. Okay, see that? So now it covers. Now, so that's how I I rough it out. Then I ink it on a separate layer. I can then turn my rough layer off, uh, and then I'm ready to paint. Now, in this case, I'm leaving my rough layer on because I have.